at the final of Crate and Cook 2010 at Newlands Farm Cookery School and we've got a team, four teams of brilliant finalists here today from schools all over Hampshire, from the north and from the south and they're going to be cooking uh, fantastic dishes using the finest of Hampshire's produce. I like cooking because it makes me happy. When I give it to other people, make them happy. I quite like cooking like loads of things. I sort of got it from my mum, so she sort of taught me all that I know. Well, our secret ingredient is basil. And we've been growing it for three, four months now. Well, my parents, they're a bit amazed because my mum's a bit hopeless for a cook. My dad's a bit hopeless for a cook. And there's, there's me. You can experiment with different things and it's a chance to be creative. We've learned so much that if, even if we don't win then we can just go home. We know that we've learned something from this experience. Um, I love cooking at home. I'm mainly a, a dessert person so I love cooking cakes and tarts and stuff. My mum always says there's no such thing as you can't cook. It's about wanting to cook. Yeah. We just love it. In 2010 we really engaged the children with local produce and we've taken all the farmers out onto the farms to meet the people behind the produce that they're using. So we've really taken it on a, a step further and, and they're really now engaging with the people behind the, the, the produce. Yeah, you do get that sort of nuttiness. Oh, I like it a lot. That's a good oil. It gives them a much greater understanding from field to fork. It's kind of exciting to see where our actual local produce comes from rather than just going to the supermarket and picking it up. So the pork tenderloin that you're going to be cooking with. Yep, that's the that's front leg as opposed to uh, a back leg. It's nice to come out and meet the producers of the food you're going to be putting on your plate and you know where it comes from and how it's been produced. Thank you. Well, it's good Thank to meet you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. All the best. An understanding of where our food comes from is, is all part of the process. We need to know how it's grown, where it, you know, where it comes from, how the producers are doing it. Um, if we can understand that, we can almost be a part of it, almost take pride in, in where we're buying our food from. We're delighted that 2010 Crate and Cook has been sponsored by the Southern Cooperative and they're very keen on educating young people about food and where the food comes from. So it's been a perfect match and um, it's, it's been great for the competition. We saw this as an opportunity to support what we see as a very positive venture. Um, to help educate children on the importance of, of cooking and particularly the use of local and seasonal ingredients in cooking, um, something that we believe in passionately at the Southern Cooperative. And here we are in the second year of their competition and whatever challenge we set them, they rise to the challenge. These are some of the, you know, the, the top cooks in Hampshire and they've worked really hard to get to this level. It's, it's, it's a tough competition but you know, I'm sure it's going to be, it is going to be tough to judge it. Good luck to all of them. Fantastic. Lovely flavours going on the mouth. Mm. Mm. That's 
it's lovely. Right, um, it was a difficult decision, as I've, I've already said, and we deliberated, and there wasn't an, an, an easy winner there, and we were all very, very even in terms of many of the areas. Um, so, I have great pleasure in announcing that the winner of the Create and Cook 2010 is, or are, should I say, Jack and Keenan from Bay House School. heart and soul into it and it's, it's come out top. Amazing, brilliant, happy. Um, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, I'm just completely over the moon.